Hello and greetings. Welcome back to video number 13 in our series of uh, customizing ISP config. Uh, I'll show how you edit your PHP file, or not your PHP file, but your PHP options from within ISP. There's no need to go edit the actual file uh, through terminal. Actually, everything is done per site right from ISP config. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let me get Chrome going. Let me move it over. Okay, so we have this going. So now, remember we have uh, our ISP config tutorial going. Um, this is the one we're going to continue through a series. I did create a new site, which is this uh, ISP config. Uh, ISP config dash tutorials dot com. Remember uh, that I registered it, so I figured you know what. Since it's already registered, I'm going to go ahead and start loading it up. Uh, hopefully, the idea is to start blogs, forums, um, and maybe some troubleshooting for all us that, that deal with this on a daily basis. Um, again, uh, it's already active and it's live, so definitely welcome to go. Um, but let's go back to, to the actual tutorial. Um, so in the ispTutorials.net, the issue is... Um, that sometimes okay so we have the WordPress going here right but when we try to up upload something we run into problems so I'm gonna log in as administrator now this is something that the administrator can do um, not the resellers and not the clients you do have the ability to give your resellers this right and there's, I'll, I'll show you where you do the check. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into how you would actually fix this. Okay, so let me actually zoom into this. Uh, okay, so that, that's locked. So we're gonna go to sites, and we're gonna choose the, the site we wanna edit, which would be this .net. And then here you'll notice that the last tab is options. You can click on options. And let me unlock this. And then towards the bottom, right here, right in the middle, you're gonna see where it says uh, custom PHP, php.ini settings. This is where you're gonna put your settings. The settings that I normally put on there, it depends on what it is. For this one, we're gonna set up uh, two gigs. Why not? So, we're gonna display errors on I want that to, to happen. The post max size is going to be two gigs. Uh, I set it up in megabytes. And then upload max size is megabytes. That's because we might set this up as a cloud that needs bigger sizes. This is obviously something that you're going to be tweaking. But what's important are to put this here and your post max. Obviously, those are the critical parts. Once you set that up, All you're gonna do is go towards the bottom and just save. And then you can remember, see, it actually tells you when the changes take effect. Okay, so now that was cleared, now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna open a new page uh, here. Go to my ISP con uh, config tutorial.net and I'm gonna log in. Normally, by default, uh, it would be, excuse me, WP dash login dot php okay so we're greeted by our, our login remember we set this up as a uh, web admin okay so now we're logged in um what we're gonna do here is uh, let me let me zoom in just to test this out, uh, like this plugins, and let me move this just a little bit higher. Okay, I'm gonna add a plugin, and I'm just gonna show you uh, that uh, what I normally load up on it and to the customer sites, and then they're I just kind of let them go do their thing. Upload plugin. 
choose file, obviously, and here's the plugins that I had. So these are the basic ones that, that I do that I give them. Uh, remove Howdy, and then I'm gonna install, and you're gonna notice it's not gonna give me an error. Uh, Installation of Howdy was successful. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna activate the plugin. Now, even the Howdy, if you don't do your settings ahead of time on PHP, you're gonna run into trouble with that. It's gonna give you an error that is unavailable and so forth. And the issue is, uh, I get a lot of customers that will call me back because um, someone actually set it up for them, and basically what happens is they just have they just didn't set it up so here's like a bigger one see right here WPS editor which is one one point four megabytes and the plugins are not that big of a deal is when you start doing bigger themes um, and there it is you can see it's successful so you get the gist of it um, oops again um, Hopefully the video helped. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up loading up these plugins for the next uh, tutorial. And again, all that good jazz, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll definitely see you on the next one. Thanks a lot.